Let's tune you up. Stretch these strings out. So I picked up this Rogue Fretless Bass a couple days ago. I had been watching videos about it online for a couple weeks, and I decided after getting some Guitar Center gift cards over the holidays that I would pull the trigger on it. This one was on sale for $99, but since I had so many gift cards, I ended up only paying taxes on it, so something like $6. The body of it feels really good. It feels pretty heavy, pretty consistent. These knobs feel really good. There's two pickups on the bass. There's a Fender Precision style pickup, P bass pickup, and a Fender Jazz style pickup, J bass pickup. The knobs are a little confusing on it. This knob is the volume for the Precision pickups. This knob is the volume for the J pickups. These two are tone knobs. The neck, the neck feels good. It feels pretty consistent. The tuning machines, they seem pretty strong. It's actually been staying pretty well in tune. The nut does not look great. It's plastic and it and it kind of looks a little shaky how they carved it out. The bridge isn't anything special. The back of the guitar, you can see where the, the neck is bolted on. Right here, these four screws. And I guess this is where the electronics are. This is a little rough. I might have to sand this part down just to get a little of this extra plastic bit off. So let's hear how it sounds. My favorite sound so far is just the precision bass pickup with the two tone knobs up. Here's both pickups together, the jazz bass pickup and the precision bass pickup. Together, they kind of sound pretty cool. So when I turn off the precision bass pickup and just have the jazz pickup on, it's a little mid-rangey, um, a little nasally, but it's an interesting sound. Not my favorite. Now, the weird thing that I've noticed about it is I thought that these tone knobs would correspond to each pickup so that this tone knob would only affect the jazz pickup and then this tone knob would only affect the precision pickup. That's actually not the case. They're independent of the pickup. Is it a perfect bass? No. I raised the action on it just because I noticed some buzzing up at this G sharp A flat. And actually at this high C right here on the A string, I'm still getting a little buzzing. The intonation is not terrific. Um, but again, this is a $100 bass. I really enjoy playing it. It's actually my first fretless bass. I kind of wish I'd gotten one sooner. <laughs>